So, as you may know, unless you've been living under a rock for the last 20 or so days, it is the scary month, the spooky month, the evil month. Yes, it is October, and we are only a little over a week away from one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. Mix that nice ingredient with the fact that my Jurassic Park video is taking ages to complete, and the uh, final product is this little video right here. I decided that I would make a short little mod showcase video in the spirit of Halloween, right? And because I feel bad for not uploading anything in a while and taking a long time to make the video I'm working on, so there we go. I decided to take a look at a rather spooky mod for Halo Custom Edition that allows you to essentially play through an alternate version of Assault on the Control Room as a flood combat form. This mod is actually very well done and very well scripted. It also has the added bonus of being chock full of new enemies, allies, and being a custom campaign rather than just simply being a reskinned version of Assault on the Control Room with a few different assets and whatnot. You know, Halo Custom Edition has far better mod tools than Master nope. Chief Collection, so the mods we have there have been and will be for at least the foreseeable future substantially better. So, without further ado, I will give a little rundown of the mod without spoiling everything, obviously, and showcase some gameplay. One thing I do want to say before we do that, however, is that this mod, someone out there is going to say, that mod's not scary. It's not the mod that's scary. It's not a horror game. It's the fact that you're playing as the Flood. Anyways, let's talk about the Flood Forgotten Exile. The backstory for this mod, as with pretty much any mod that is not SPV3, is rather short and simple. Very sweet. The version of this mod that I am playing is the version that was uploaded to Halo Maps back in September of 2012. So this mod is far from being new. I mean, unless you are comparing it to other mods for Halo Custom Edition, in which some are as old as the game itself, I mean like 2003. Substantially older than 2012, but that's not the point. The version uploaded to Halo Maps is also noted to be a demo level, so I'm assuming the author or the developers had ambitions to make an entire campaign based around this premise, which I personally would have loved to see. I mean, who doesn't want to play as the Flood fucking stuff up? I know I do. The last interactions from the developers regarding this mod that I could find was their mod DB upload which was almost a whole year after their Halo Maps upload in September of 2013. So I think it is fair to say that this project is unfortunately abandoned, at least at the time of making this video, that is. Always have a little bit of hope. You know, if Star Wars has taught me anything, hope, have hope. There are quite a load of people credited for the creation of this mod, so I will have their credits listed in the description of this video. The credits that I'm going to be listing in the description are literally going to be like copy and pasted credits taken straight from the readme file that is included with the mod when you download it from Halo Maps. So this is the actual mod creator's credits. Um, so, however, anytime I refer to this conglomerate, this group of people in this video, I will simply be calling them the developers, as I have up until now. Because I'm not going to sit here and like say, oh, well, this guy did this part, so I'm going to credit him in the video, and this guy did this part. I'm just going to throw all the credits in the description and just refer to all of them together as the developers. So, I like to make my job simple. Work smarter, not harder. Anyways, now let's actually talk about the meat and potatoes. You know, the nice stew that is this mod. In this mod, as I stated before, you play through a tweaked version of Assault on the Control Room from the perspective of a flood combat form. The developers reused audio and voice assets from Halo CE, Halo 2, and Doom 3 even. You know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. 
rather than doing original voice acting. Which I think this ultimately was for the better as mods tend to have a bad track record with having the developers or just friends of the developers doing voice acting instead of actually getting voice actors. Sometimes the results of this are unintentionally hilarious, especially when you have YouTubers <laughs> doing the voices for your mod. Hunt down the frame in anyone? Okay. The aliens are coming! We've been compromised! There are new enemies, new vehicles, and all of the combat sequences have been reworked to fit the new narrative that this mod aims to achieve. Some cool noteworthy additions I noticed were flood infected vehicles. I mean who doesn't want to ride around on a ghost with a bunch of squishy growths attached to them. It looks like you're riding around on the herpes mobile. There are also armored and non-armored variants of your fellow flood combat forms with the armored variants having shields and taking a bit more damage to actually take down. This is much less annoying when you are fighting alongside the flood rather than against them I might add. Sentinels play a much larger part in this mod and they really take the place as the go-to pain in the ass enemy. There are new variants of the sentinels that you have to go up against, usually by yourself at first. I will not spoil all of the new enemies for those who haven't played the mod, but there is one. It is like this little spider sentinel. Hey. Follows you around, swarms you, and absolutely beams you to death with its sentinel meme. These things are annoying as fuck, but also creative as fuck. So they, they still get a thumbs up in my book, a very hesitant thumbs up. Surprise, motherfucker. The mod is only about 15 or 20 minutes long if you're going at an average pace, but I do have to admit that it kept me hooked the entire time with the new enemies and battles. It actually felt fresh and new, while also reusing, you know, the maps for consult assault in the control room, and it just, it just felt good. One thing this mod did uh, really well was make you feel like you are truly part of an unstoppable swarm, raining down on your poor, helpless covenant enemies. You will often find yourself dogpiling a group of enemies with your fellow AI, beating the ever living shit out of them until they are a pulp. If there were ever to be an official implementation of player controlled flood in an FPS Halo game, or if any other modders out there are planning on taking this approach, definitely take a look at how this mod does it and try to emulate even just a little bit. I mean, be creative, make your own thing, I mean you are artists technically, but definitely take inspiration from this mod because this feels very genuine, it feels very good. And it feels very Halo-like. It doesn't really feel like a like a mod, a third-party mod. It feels like, in some regard, it could actually be official. So, this mod's really awesome. It plays really well. Um, it makes you feel like a virus and a parasite, like the human race is. And it's just really fun. For 15 to 20 minutes, I mean, I didn't get bored, I didn't feel like I was getting cheated, it didn't feel broken, it didn't feel bad. It was a really enjoyable 20 minutes, and I'll probably play through this mod a few more times. Not just to get footage for this video, but just for the hell of it. The first time I played this mod, I was actually not recording, I just wanted to play through it one time, um, so I can get my thoughts in order, and I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to playing through it again for footage and for fun after that. So. That's as much as I want to say, because I don't really want to spoil everything. Because, I mean, it is a Halo mod. So there's not, like, an insane amount of new content. So if I talked about every little thing, it would kind of detract from the experience of playing through it yourselves. So, if you want to know everything else I didn't mention about this mod, go play it. I'm going to jump into the conclusion while you do that, though. Well, here we are. The conclusion to this rather short video. I hope you guys enjoyed this aforementioned short mod showcase video. I really tried to look for similar mods for the Master Chief Collection, but the much more limited modding tools for MCC haven't really allowed for things quite like this mod to be created yet. I know once 343 Industries implements more modding tools and modding support for the MCC, we will probably see things more akin to this mod being created. But until then, I shall make do with what is available to me. 
I tried to go over the main points of this mod without spoiling too much like I said before, because I want you all to play this mod for yourselves and get the full experience. I mean, let's be real. The mod is free, and I just so happen to know a video that shows you how to download and install Halo Custom Edition. So, unless you simply don't want to have a good time playing a well-crafted mod, you really don't have an excuse not to play it for yourself. In which case, you're dead to me. I plan on maybe doing another spooky Halloween themed video before the end of the month, but I won't make any promises as, th as things have been quite chaotic for me lately, which is why progress on my Jurassic Park video has stalled quite a bit. Anyhow, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and comment any mods or games you would like to see me talk about. That being said, I will see you all in the next video, whether it be a Halloween video or the Jurassic Park video. Peace.